boys and girls. Today we're reading a little golden book and it's all about color, colorful things and this little colorful mouse and it's a story about colors. So I will be pointing to the colors. This book is probably for maybe a uh, year old to three or four. Um, you may know your colors already but it might be fun to read this book. Let's see. This must be the colorful little mouse. He has on bright blue pants. He has a bow on his tail. There's a big blue door. Oh, it looks like he has maybe a little friend. Let's see. This was written and illustrated by Julie Durrell. Oh, how pretty. The sky is gray and it is pouring. That means raining. Sitting here is very boring. I'd like to play outside today. I think I'll go out anyway. T.C. Mouse. Oh, look at the colorful roofs. Green and red. And there's a little ladybug under the mushroom or the toadstool. Where is my green umbrella? I wonder. I'm not afraid of the rain and thunder. Green umbrella. Oh, kitty. Look at the kitty. What color is the kitty? Well, yellow or gold or salmon and stripes. So he's a tabby. And this is a beautiful pillow, orange and purple with green polka dots. And I love the green plant. Isn't that nice? And a black hat with purple grapes. I'll put on my purple socks. I keep them in this old shoe box. That was a rhyme. All of them have been rhymes, haven't they? Look at the little spider. And this is a green and sort of pink and white chair. There's a little mouse. He has polka dots, orange and green on his little pants. Oh, there's a star in there, and a bottle, and a ball of yarn, and some sunglasses, and a pretzel, and a button, and a blue crayon, and some scissors. My big brown sweater may be old, but it will keep away the cold. And so he puts it on to go outside. And he's reading 1001 Cheeses. That's what the spine of the book says there. And he has an elephant and an alarm clock. Oh, good little mouse. I'd like to wear my bright red vest. This one right here. I found it in this big red chest. Okay, that's the color red. I don't see anything else red in this page, do you? It's kind of pinkish, kind of pink. Oh, the target, you are exactly right. The target, good for you. Oh, and what do you see on the mantle? This is a mantle, a, a fireplace mantle, a piggy. It's pink with spots and looks like that same little bug again. And a clock and a green goblet and a candle a stool and a horse. You might call this a pony and it's a rolling pony you can pull him. Wow, he has lots of cool toys. My new sweatpants are royal blue. All my mouse friends want them too. <laughs> so he's putting on his sweatpants over his polka dot pants to go outside. Good for him. And look, he has a piano. I hope he plays that music that's up there. He practices all the time. I hope so. Oh, he has a guitar, too. He must be a musical mouse. Oh, my goodness. My pink raincoat I can't forget. Without it, I'd be soaking wet. So here's this pink coat. Matches his pink bow on his tail, and this pink dish, and the pink soap, and the pink picture, and the pink handles. They're almost red. 
What else is pink? Ah, the little stripe around the clock. It looks like a sun with all the yellow and orange little things on it. Green glasses, green soap, bubble soap, and purple socks, yep, and look at those green shoes. I wonder what he's going to wear on his feet. Ah, in yellow boots, my feet will stay dry and cozy while I play. So, if we got that question answered. He's wearing yellow boots. Yellow. The fire is yellow. The cheese is yellow. And the honey is yellow. And if you saw it in person, it would probably be a little bit on the gold side. And mama's shoes and daddy's shoes or sister and brother we don't know do we so let's turn the page this orange hat will keep me warm and now i'm ready for the storm oh he is he has his umbrella his boots his heavy pants on and his heavy sweater and his coat and this warm hat and he's ready to go outside I step outside and close the door, but it's not raining anymore. Oh, the sun has come out. The sun is yellow. And the little ladybug has crawled out from underneath the toadstool. And what's little mouse going to do? I jump for joy. Do you know why? A great big rainbow fills the sky. Wow. Look at all those colors. Indigo and purple and blue and green and yellow and orange and red. Wow! And the sky is blue. The leaves on the trees are green. Whoa, and the butterfly is black and white and brown and orange. This must be water, do you think? This is a lake or a river or an ocean? I don't know. Could be. And here, can you name the colors of the rainbow? Can you? Let's see. We'll start at the bottom. Well, that looks like pink to me, or it could be lavender, and purple, and blue, and green, and yellow. And what's that one? Orange. And what's that one? Red. You're right. Let's do them backwards. Red, orange, what's that one? Yellow, green, blue, purple, or you might even call that a little lavender. And this one, it's a hard, it's kind of faded in the book, but pink, or sometimes we say indigo for one of these colors. That's a pretty color. Thank you, little mouse, for telling us all the beautiful colors of the rainbow. Until we read together again next time, boys and girls. Have fun. Bye-bye.